we all eat food. What we eat, we choose for lots of different reasons, but understanding what those food choices mean for us personally, and then also how they affect the greater community and good, I think is something that we should all be interested in doing. Introduction to Ecogastronomy is about exploring the benefits and challenges of different choices within the food system and what the impact of those choices are on people, on the planet, on animals, on our ecosystem, using a lens of sustainability so that we can better understand how our food system can move forward in a positive way. We're looking at agriculture. How do you produce the food? And then transportation, distribution, marketing, sales, restaurants. And then when you get that food and you put it in your body, what happens? Flavor-wise, texture-wise, how do you experience it? But then what are the implications for your body? We have a lot of guest speakers, professors, chefs, farmers, people that work for nonprofits. The foundation of eco-gastronomy is that it be interdisciplinary, it be experiential. And the assignments in the course, one of those pieces is getting out and doing activities. So going out and talking to somebody who's actually part of the food system or participating in something. Students will leave this class with a greater understanding of the implications of their food choices. I really hope for students to be able to keep asking questions and keep learning more about food and come to their own conclusions with the information that they get. Hello, I'm Nikki Cole, NOFA New Hampshire's Operations Manager. NOFA New Hampshire is the Northeast Organic Farming Association of New Hampshire. We are a statewide organization and one of seven state NOFA chapters across the Northeast. We promote organic farming, gardening, and land care practices for healthy communities and are celebrating our 50th anniversary this year. Our programs include an annual winter conference, a bulk order program, an organic gardening series, a farm share program connecting low-income New Hampshire residents with subsidized certified organic farm shares, a craft of farming program providing peer-to-peer -peer educational opportunities for farmers, farm workers, and eaters, film screenings and panel discussions, and we are a partner in New Hampshire Feeding New Hampshire. NOFA New Hampshire also engages in policy and advocacy opportunities to support organic agriculture. COVID-19 has increased the community's interest in growing and accessing local organic food. In response to the pandemic, we hosted a free organic garden planning webinar and created five educational video tutorials on organic gardening in 2020. We are continuing our organic gardening series virtually this year and are offering scholarship tickets to learners in need. In 2020, our farm share program partnered with nine certified organic farms to provide 126 community members with a season's worth of food through 43 subsidized farm shares. And the 2021 program is currently underway. We look forward to continuing to serve Granite Staters with our educational and food access programs in this time of need and beyond. Thank you. Hi there. My name is Keith Saracen and I'm the chef and founder of The Farmer's Dinner. The Farmer's Dinner hosts dinners on farms all across New Hampshire. My love for farming and farmers started in 2012 when I wanted to learn more about all the amazing farms that were just right outside my door. What we do at the Farmer's Dinner is we want to work with farmers who want to get in front of an audience and see their product displayed in beautiful, beautiful culinary excellence. Since 2012, we've hosted 89 dinners on local farm farms all across New Hampshire. This is, means that we've been able to give back over $160,000 to local farms and feeding just under 17,000 people. The Farmer's Dinner is my expression of love for farms. Thankfully, we've been able to work with companies like the Agrarian Trust to help farms put their land into easement, raise money for farms, and most of all, we've inspired a lot of people to go visit farms. I want to thank you so much for all you do, all of you farmers out there. The reality is you're the heroes. We're just the messengers. Hope that you continue to support local farms and check us out at www.thefarmersdinner.com. We are Katie Goodall and Sarah Koff, and we're Ink and Light Creative. With years of experience working with farmers and a passion for supporting local food systems, Ink and Light Creative offers farms and food businesses woodcut based graphics and behind the scenes photography for use in marketing. We're based in the seacoast of New Hampshire, 
and North Shore of Massachusetts and work throughout the region. In the wake of the pandemic, many of the farmers in our communities had to suddenly create a successful online presence. Even if they had website building or social media experience, they usually didn't have the time to manage all of the online tasks in addition to their actual farming. And we figured, farmers got a farm, we can do the other stuff. Every farm has a story. Story creates connection and in a practical sense leads folks to your website and your products. A well-told story is memorable. And when you can tell your story well, it takes a lot of the hustle out of the sales game. We create graphics and photography that embody and embrace all of those details that make up your business. And we do it with two simple tools, ink and light. As a woodcut printmaker, I create woodcut-based logos and graphics for farm packaging, merchandise, signs, and anything else a farm might need. All graphics are original, handcrafted, and fit together as part of your visual story. My behind the scenes photography highlights the grit and skill that go into the production of every carrot. My photographs highlight the people, place, products, values, and even the farm's life cycle over one or more seasons. We're looking to connect with farms and food businesses who are ready to share their story. My name is Nate Burnitz and I'm the Home Horticulture Outreach Program Manager for UNH Extension. I work throughout New Hampshire to provide research-based information and solutions to gardeners, landowners, and homesteaders. Spring 2020 was unforgettable. There was a rush of interest from new and lapsed gardeners with concerns about food access and bare grocery store shelves, with many people spending a lot more time at home. We needed to pivot to remote work, which meant our call center, typically staffed by Master Gardener volunteers, moved to the closet where I worked at home. We were overwhelmed with calls and emails and worked overtime to answer every question. Since last March, over 4,600 questions. In May, I got a team of Master Gardener volunteers trained on how to answer emails from home, something we'd never done in over 20 years. They volunteered nearly 2,000 hours since. At the same time, we saw a need to outwardly educate the public, but didn't have a lot of time to spare. So we started doing regular Facebook live broadcasts on timely topics, and with their success, ended up doing over 60 live videos in 2020, reaching tens of thousands of gardeners we wouldn't have otherwise. Finally, understanding the screen time and video meeting fatigue, we shifted gears to launch a podcast called Granite State Gardening. Unlike the live videos, these are highly processed, but just six episodes in, it's been downloaded well over a thousand times. All in all, it's been an incredibly challenging year with a lot of success to be proud. Hi, and thank you for your interest in the Belknap Food Shed. My name is Mary McDonald, and together with my husband, Gavin, we established the Belknap Food Shed last year. We're located in Meredith, but are now reaching just about every corner of the state. The Food Shed is mission-driven to connect community and local food. And we started with five primary goals, cultivate and process food, provide education and training, foster business development and job creation, establish retail and restaurant facilities, facilitate aggregation and distribution. We anticipated that we would tackle these in that order, and then along came COVID. With many farmers markets and small stores not opening, farms and small food producers found their normal sales channel shrinking, so we jumped into goal number five, aggregation and distribution with both feet. With the amazing financial support from both the North Country Resource Conservation and Development Area Council and the Lakes Region Food Network, we were able to create a safe and accessible online market to connect producers with consumers. We launched with curbside pickup in three locations and are now serving Meredith, Laconia, Loudoun, Guilford, and Tilton. We've also been working with food hubs, schools, restaurants, and wholesale customers throughout the state. We have over 20 producers offering over 250 items. Producers set their own price and customers make their selection. The markets open online from 7 a.m. Saturdays until noon on Wednesdays. And each Friday, we pick and pack the orders and set them up for pickup or delivery. For more information, please visit our website at www.belknapfoodshed.com. Send us an email at connect at belknapfoodshed.com or give us a call at 603-279-8600. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andrea Tomlinson. I'm the general manager of New Hampshire Community Seafood. We are a multi-stakeholder cooperative operating here in New Hampshire and Massachusetts. 
statewide. We are as far west as Peterborough, as far north as Colebrook, and as far south as Dracut, Massachusetts. We offer a community-supported fishery of fresh and locally caught seafood, both fish and shellfish. The options for the community-supported fishery run from April till December. There's an 8, 16, and 32-week fish share option, a 16 and 32-week shellfish option, and for folks who do not want to commit to a weekly um, share, there is a flexible fish option as well. We also operate a restaurant-supported fishery, operating on the old adage of the catch of the week, as well as uh, haddock is offered weekly to our restauranteurs and retailers. The restauranteurs and retailers are then able to provide their customers with both the name of the boat, the captain's name, and the time and date of landing for the fish. We support the eating with the ecosystem here in the Gulf of Maine. We offer familiar New England favorites like cod, haddock, and flounder, as well as underutilized species like king whiting, dogfish shark, and white hake. 